Welcome again to uh, the Beer Channel, and uh, as you can see by my uh, hat here, I'm in uh, the holiday uh, uh, holiday mode. Um, I just actually finished uh, uh, a bottle of um, uh, Mars Christmas Bock, and I did a review of that video, the, the video review that I hope uh, you'll check out too. Uh, and so I thought it was appropriate, uh, since I was in the dark, malty beer mode, to uh, uh, tackle this bottle of Rhino L from the Lost Rhino Brewing Company from Asheville, uh, Virginia. Um, if you're in Asheville, you can find them on, um, it says here they're on Red Rum Road, which is actually a little bit uh, scary. Um, if, you're, uh, if you've ever seen The Shining, you'll know what I'm talking about. But uh, in any event, um, this isn't a beer that I can get here in Georgia, um, but it was. Uh, I actually got it from a uh, um, one of my very, very good friends, uh, who's a, a, a beer enthusiast, same as I am, and uh, we swapped some local beers uh, for Christmas. And uh, he sent me some beers that I can't get here in Georgia, and I sent him uh, some beers uh, that uh, that are not available in in, uh, in his area. So uh, I think that's actually uh, uh, you know you've got to be a little bit uh, careful how you do it, but it's uh, it's uh, great fun to. Uh, to uh, to do uh, and and beer uh, beer enthusiasts have been doing it for some time. I, I, I've been doing it all the way back to the '90s when when I lived in Rhode Island. Would uh, do beer swaps with uh, beer enthusiasts around the country. In any event, um, I think it's a little bit apropos to do this beer because uh, Los Rhino has actually done um, their Christmas Christmas beer. Rhino L uh, is. Uh, it's a Belgian style double. So uh, why is that uh, appropriate for uh, for the for this point in time? Well, be because I just finished a German double Bach, and of course there's a lot of um, similarity between um, box and Belgian doubles. Doubles are probably a lot closer to uh, to double box uh, than they are single box. But uh, in any event, the 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 uh, the key uh, similarity is the dark malty flavors that you will get in both styles. Uh, the one I just polished off uh, was six percent alcohol by volume. This one's seven and a half. Um, Lost Rhino also mentions uh, that uh, they add uh, candy sugar to uh, to the beer. Um, that's something the Germans would never do. Uh, that's uh, uh, as they would say, verboten by the Reinheitsgebot. Um, the uh, Belgian yeasts uh, uh, will throw off uh, a lot different flavors. Than the uh, cleaner German lager yeast will too, but uh, in, I, I've always uh, thought that the you know that 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 aside, there's a uh, the uh, there's a lot of similarity between the styles because of the the dark malts that are used. So in any event, let's let's crack this one open. And I'm actually going to have to open this twice. The cap just came easily off. This, but it's also got a cork in it. And the cork is pretty cool because uh, it actually shows right through the. Back before I take it out, I'm not sure if you can see it, but uh, I'll give you a little bit better look at the bottle. But uh, you can see that it says Lost Rhino, Rhino Brewery right on the cork, and it shines right through the, the brown glass. We should be okay now. Okay, now we've got the cork out, and actually the, the bottle here is pretty cool, if you can see. Um, it's almost got a little bit of a bulbous neck here at the bottom, and that's kind of a lot like uh, some of the uh, the short, stubby uh, Belgian beer bottles that you'll see um, in, in the liquor stores. So uh, I actually thought that was pretty cool when I first saw it. And uh, I'm going to pour this entire bottle into a the Sierra Nevada Moss, the German Oktoberfest beer glass, because it'll hold the entire bottle and the head quite well. And you can see this this beer's got a very prodigious head on it. We've got a beer of a murky dark um, chestnut color. Almost mahogany color, towering, uh, tan, foamy head. I get some Belgian funky yeast in the nose, and a little bit of banana. Now I actually let this bottle warm up just a bit. 
prior to or, uh, opening it because you don't want to drink it too cold. It, you, you can't pick up all the flavors if the beer is too cold. Mm. And that's so good. It's definitely a, a Belgian double in style. You can tell it's very authentic. The um, the dark uh, nutty malt is is definitely there. There's a, a little bit of a uh, little bit of chocolate to it. Um, maybe a just a bit of caramel in there. And getting some banana, maybe even a little vanilla in there too, and then some funky Belgian yeast notes. And I always call them you know funky estuary Belgian um, yeast notes. Uh, if, if you've never uh, uh, experienced them, it's pretty hard to describe them to you. It's kind of a unique experience. Um, you know, it's kind of like that uh, Jimmy Buffett song uh, where he talks about uh, uh, you can't uh, describe a KISS concert if you've never been to one. Well, it's the same idea. Um, once you've had a Belgian style, any Belgian beer really, the more you, you drink, you'll really start to uh, differentiate the, the unique funky yeastiness there. But it's definitely here in this beer. And, uh, but this beer wasn't brewed in Belgium, it was brewed in Ashburn, Virginia, and yet it's an excellent example of a Belgian-style double. Um, I would uh, definitely drink this beer all the time if it was distributed in, in my area, because again, um, those dark uh, nutty malty beers uh, like this and Double Box are, are among my favorite. This is a great way to uh, ring in the new year. Um, if you... Uh, if you're watching this uh, video and it's not, and you live in the area where these beers are distributed, then I would say go pick some up for New Year's Eve, 2011. Uh, if, uh, if if not, uh, Christmas uh, next year uh, and New Year's 2012, it's surely a beer that should be on your list. Uh, I hope uh, hope you'll try it. Uh, I hope uh, you'll drop me a line and let me know what you think about it. Uh, when you do, brewguru at brewguru.com.